This is Gustavo Francicini for the iOS Post to show you three features available only for the iPad in iOS 5. We start with Safari. As you can see, we have now tab browsing. It was absent uh, in previous versions of iOS 5, but it's, it resembles mostly what you can uh, use in your Mac or in your PC if you use a modern uh, web browser. Now this is a time saver before you have to press a page icon that will send you to, to see uh, all your pages that you have open, all, all the different websites that you have open. Now it's just clicking on the tabs and it would send you to uh, the different websites. Now you can click the plus icon to get to another, uh, to open another website. And now I can uh, show you another feature that is only available in the iPad. If you can see this icon over there where you usually hide the keyboard, now if you press and hold and slide, now you have the split keyboard for those that like to uh, uh, type in portrait mode. This is very easy, uh, this is a different thing. You can also uh, do this in landscape, but it's very hard to do. Uh, now, the other thing that I wanted to show you, the third feature, I already showed you tap browsing and the split keyboard. The third feature that I wanted to show you is uh, multi-touch gestures. These were available in iOS 4.3 if you enable it through Xcode. Uh, now it's uh, available in iOS 5, it's enabled uh, all the way. You can just go to settings and general and you will see the multitasking gestures. How does it work? Well, if I just want to go to, um, if I just wanted to go to the home screen, I just use five fingers and close them, and then I go to the home screen. If I wanted to reveal the multitasking bar, I use four or five fingers up to see the multitasking bar. Now, if I'm in Safari, let's say I want to go to one of the other available apps that I have open, I use four fingers. And just swipe the other way. I go to settings, swipe the other way. I go to Twitter, swipe that way. I go to maps. You want to go back, just go the other way. Settings. And when I reach the last one, we use this cool banding animation. If I want to go back to the home screen, I just close with five fingers. That's all for now. Those are the three features that I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, iOS 5 is it should be dropping now, so have fun with it. This is Gustavo for the iOS Post. See you in the next video.